Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is Shirty Kabayan Tech and today we're going to do a Q&A for the W09 Pro when it comes to battery programming. And if this is the first time you're watching my videos, take some time and click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, kindly click on the thumbs up button. Thank you very much. Just for disclaimer, I am not sponsored by the OOS team. I bought this one from uh, by my own money. And I do have a prior video on programming a battery on a 13 Pro Max using this programmer. The link is on the description below or on the top right. So when I publish that video, there are some questions from different subscribers and also from my tech group in Facebook on questions regarding the programming itself. Before I transfer the BMS board of the original battery, I try to program everything beforehand so that I will eliminate that issue that it says important battery message and will show up 100%. And that's how that's what I learned from my previous experience on programming those tag on flex. What's good with the W09 as per the previous video, it's easier for me to program it and remove this. So we're going to answer two questions here at the same time. The first question was, will W09 Pro program work on an older iOS system? And can you program the unit without the customer's passcode? So the oldest that I could find, this is an iPhone 12 with the software iOS version 15.1. And also if you lock this one, it will ask for the customer's passcode. And then let me go on to battery and show you the battery percentage, which is 88. Let's turn off the phone and make sure that your battery has a sufficient charge for this operation. I already removed the adhesives here. So the W09, the cable that we are going to use is the one that is for the 1212 Mini 12 Pro and SE3. So let's install this and connect this battery here on the portion where it says the SE1212 Pro. So it says here initially, this is the first time it will say it's popped up. So if it doesn't turn on, let's try to power up the phone. And then you will see it says device startup. I won't go into the phone itself because it has a passcode and we're going to answer the second question at the same time. So now it says here that it says no pop-up, please pop-up done, restart. Let's just give it a minute or so for it to actually refresh itself. Okay, and then after a minute, shut it down. And then it says device shut down. Then we could remove all the cables. So we could take out the cable here and then we could take out the original battery here and we're going to put it back on the phone and see if there are any issues or not. So let's turn on the phone. If the phone doesn't turn on, try to plug in power cable. So when we go again to and unlock it and go to settings and then we go on to battery, battery health and it still say 100%. So the question for can you program it on an older operating system? Yes. And then, can you program unit without the customer passcode? The answer is yes. Another, another question or two questions that we're going to answer would be, can I reset it and still retain the 100% after I program it using the W09? And also, can I upgrade to a higher operating system and still retain the 100%? Both of those questions, the answer is yes, it will retain the 100% and let me show you. So let's try first the reset. So again, when we go on to here, it still says 15.1. Uh, so I'm going to do the reset first, which will erase everything. And let's set up the reset phone. So when we go on to settings, and let me just show you, it's still the same thing. It's an iPhone 12, 15.1. And when we go on to battery, it still says it's 100. And mind you, it doesn't have a tag on flex. So it's just the BMS, the original BMS of the phone. And let's do the restore and update it to the latest operating system using iTunes. So I place the phone on recovery mode and plug it to my Mac computer. As you can see on the Mac, it pops up that it, need, it is in recovery mode and we are going to restore the phone to its latest operating system. So I downloaded the IPSW file and we're going to use the latest operating system, which is the 17.4. So we do that and then I click on open and let's wait for everything to be restored to the latest operating system and see if it will retain the 100%. So going back now to the phone, let's set it up again and see if it will show the 100% after we restore it using iTunes. So once we update it to the latest iOS, whatever is available during, during this time, so when we go on to settings and then let me just go on to general just to show you and above. So we already uh, upgraded the iPhone 12 to 17.4 and let's see if it will retain the 100%. And it does retain and the answer is yes. So, so for this repair subscriber ask, after an iPhone battery replacement that was programmed using W09 Pro Programmer, will it retain the 100% battery health after the unit was quick flash with 
fix battery health checked using 3U tools. We have an 11 Pro Max with battery service status, 79% battery health percentage, and an important battery message display. I programmed the original battery using WL9 Programmer. It removed the important battery message, removed the service status, and battery health was restored to 100, transferred the BMS to a new battery cell. So now let's connect to 3U Tools and perform a quick flash with fixed battery health during flash option selected and see if the battery health will reset back to 79% or will it retain the program 100% battery health? After the quick flash and going to the battery status of the iPhone, it reverted back to its original battery health of 79%, including the service status and important battery message shows up again. So the answer to that question is a no. It did not retain it to 100% after the quick flash on 3U tools with fixed battery health during flash option is selected. Continuing from the previous battery replacement on the 11 Pro Max, another question was sent to me asking, can I add a tag on or a pre-programmed tag on flex after installing new battery programmed using W09 programmer to avoid battery original battery health coming back? Of course, yes, you can, but a few caveats to keep in mind. First purpose. When I was asked with this question, my first reaction is what for? It defeats the purpose of the W09 programmer. But as I go on with finding out the W09 capabilities, it does make sense. Specific issues that may arise in the future, like customer restoring their iPhone using 3U tools, or when Apple decided to trigger battery calibration, similar to when iOS 14 update came out, that affected some iPhone 11 series and above. Second, cost. Using JC, Kianli, I2C tag-on flexes and their respective programmers to activate the tag-on is adding more cost on a repair that you already solved with the W09. Though they started to release pre-programmed tag-on flexes, it is still expensive compared to other brands. Going back to the question, I have been using a yes pre-programmed tag-on flex from Mobile Centrix for quite some time and I didn't find any issues. Plus, you can reprogram it using the JC Kianli I2C programmers if the need arises. Plus, cost ranges from 3 to 4 per tag-on or even lower if you get them in bulk. As you can see on the video here, after I programmed the battery using the W09 programmer, and transferring the BMS to the new battery cell, I add on the tag on conflex and follow the manufacturer instructions by booting it on the first time by plugging it, waiting for the important battery message to show up, shut it down, and then turn it on and use it as normal. At the end of the day, I know some skeptics will have a cringe on this question, but it all depends on you and you decide. And that's it, mga kabayan techers. I'll stop here and we'll have another Q&A video for the dreaded iOS 17.4 that's been bugging all of us when it comes to battery repair. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or requests to re or to review devices, kindly write them down below. Like this type of video, click on the like button, and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, take some time and click the subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.